Hey folks, it's Rith Guy here. How you doing? Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. We have got to get our dinosaur rating up a little bit. We've got two dinos over here and I've got two live bait feeders. It has been strongly advised by many of you that I put in a different feeder. Get rid of one of these live bait feeders and instead put in a um, just a, a standard meat feeder and then put in a viewing gallery in here as well for these two dinosaurs. So we're going to be doing that and I also need to replace these over here. When the Struthiomimuses are dying, um, they don't get automatically replaced. So at the moment, let's just go to this fella here who is having a drink and that is a uh, 003. So we got 004 over here, we got 005 up there, and 006 up there, and then we're back down to 003. So we've got four. Um, so we've lost two of them. We've we got three, four, five, and six. So yeah, we've lost two. So we want to try to maintain six of them, and we've got two Triceratops over here. I've named one Terry, and I named the other one Bertie. But... What I said last week was, well, it's actually, I think I said it on Monday's, it would have been Monday's episode, I don't know, I recently said I would start naming dinosaurs after people who help and support the channel. And this is something I've been thinking about for a while, it's something I did talk about earlier in a different series altogether, but I've decided that people who support me on Patreon, at the moment I've not been offering any rewards. And I'm quite upfront about that, I say there will be no rewards offered for Patreon, I'm not going to be giving things that people can only access with money, and that includes rewards on Patreon, so that's why I've never offered rewards on Patreon. Um, but I've been thinking about this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start naming characters, places, um, objects, animals, anything after people who support me on Patreon. But in order to be able to also offer the same chance for free, if you contribute in a meaningful way in the comments section on um, YouTube on any of these videos, if, if you are regularly contributing in a meaningful way, then your name will also be added to the list to be used and once your name has been added to the list to be used your name will stay on the list is as far as I'm concerned I'm just gonna leave it there now for now what I'm gonna do is anybody that supports me on patreon I will be using first names only I won't be using full names chat uh, um, people who support me on YouTube see your full whatever the title is that appears in the comment section that's the name that I'll use but on patreon I don't know what the privacy settings are on it so I won't use full names um, I will have a look at that and see what um, like the, the privacy situation is so the very first one that I'm going to do is Tyree that is a patreon supporter so first of all I am gonna go through and I am going to put the patreon supporters first because um, you people have been supporting me so I'm just gonna go through all the dinosaurs now and I'm going to start naming dinosaurs this is going to be randomly associated so don't be offended if your name if you've got a struthio mimus with your name on it and you don't have like one of the really big cooler dinosaurs um, I don't mean anything by that and I will keep using these names on this list I'm compiling a list of, of, of names that have made the, sh the list once you achieve the list once you make the list your name doesn't come off the list I will keep it on the list um, and maybe I, I, I don't know at the moment that's that's the plan it, you know obviously things may change in the future if it's not working very well we will try something else so let me just go through a minute and see if I can name everybody now can I I can do an underscore we've got uh, tech lime here it doesn't really matter if I use um, upper or lower case um, right now I need to go and name some struthio mimus I also need to get two more made and hatched out so I'll, let me just set these going a minute we got these all at 100 percent we could modify the genome actually this is something that we haven't done yet we've got um, different appearances there uh, let's go over this way so what do we got here this one is um, viability I lose some viability there but lifespan is increased by a significant amount and Science here requires not ah. only experimentation but observation and with you I like what I see keep it up should have tell I guess that's the dinosaur rating is it um, but anyway, this one rating is plus nine percent there, and um, we also gain resilience, we gain lifespan. So it would appear that um, that's just lifespan by quite a bit. This one here, lifespan goes up sixty-nine, resilience is sixty-six, and then rating is plus nine percent. It goes to no, it doesn't seem to change. But anyway, this is one that I'm going to go for. I'm going to apply that gene right there, 
I can't take a different one. Unless... Oh, can I add another gene? Robust digestion. This is... I think we've already got this one on here. Uh, that one there. I could add that one. Viability is minus 7, so it drops down again. Lifespan... 77. Right, lifespan there is 60, 69. If I add this gene as well, what does it do? I see. Right, I can only choose one of those. I can't, like, add extra ones of them. And if I go there, this one right here is plus 2 and uh, plus 5 resilience. If I drop down here, I gain yet more lifespan. Because that's 69, 66, and 10. If I drop down here, the rating is 11. Resilience goes up to 68. Lifespan goes all the way up to 77. Viability drops to 86%. So it's not as good, but I'm going to stick that gene in as well. So we've got a lot more shark gene in this one now. And then we come over to here. Um, that is just lifespan there. Cardio strength, lifespan plus 11. That puts me up to 88 years. This one, more resilience, more rating... Uh, right, rating. The rating is another nine percent. If I put that one in, lifespan goes up to eighty-five. That one's lifespan up to eighty-eight, and he's more resilient and resistant. As I'm going to go with that one, I think this time we've we've done the shark gene a couple of times. So there we go, and that's it. So there is our new enter to apply. Well, I've done that. Oh, now I'll just uh, escape. We come back. So now we've got the Struthiomimus, lifespan is 88, resilience 68, rating 11. The viability is now only 83%, which is not quite as good, but I figure it's probably going to be... It's, it's, it is a pretty good chance. I, th I think we'll do all right with that one. So we'll incubate that one as well and get that one running. And I will go through and I will start naming the rest of the dinosaurs a minute. Take the contract. I have a feeling it'll be worth it in the long run. For both of us. Cracking the genetic code. Increase the dinosaur genome to at least 60%. Okay, we'll take that one. There's another $150,000 on offer. We've got two dinosaurs over here. Um, let's just see. Do they look any different with all of this extra genome? I don't think he does. He doesn't look any different at the moment. I'm curious what kind of monsters we will be able to eventually create. It's going to be interesting to see that. Uh, we've got that one, and we can release him as well. I'm just going to skip that bit in a minute. Uh, let's release in progress. And let me finish naming these. Hang on. I, I just want to, I want to have a look at him a minute. And as soon as it closes the gate, there we go. Right, that's 008. We've got 007. 007 is here. I'm actually thinking about not naming 007 and just leaving him as 007. No, I won't. I'll carry on and do the naming. Right, I have named all dinosaurs that are currently in the park. I will very quickly run through them with you so you can see who we've got. We've got Teclime, and we've got Tyree for our Triceratops, and then our little group of these over here who are all busy feeding. We've got Michael, we've got Patrick, we've got Tonza, Jamie, Dante, and Windwalker for those. And then I've got two of these over here. We've got Zorta 77, and we've got Miss Pelt over here. Miss Pelt is... Oh. Oh, she's hungry. She's very hungry. Right. Um, in which case, the other thing that I want to do, I want to remove the live bait feeder. Although I'm actually thinking of leaving the live bait feeder. And just sticking another feeder in here anyway. So that we've got... I've got $10 million over here. So it's not like we're short of cash. So we'll take another... We'll take a, a standard carnivore feeder. And I'm going to drop that one in over there. And... That way, we should have food for all carnivores. We've got standard food, plus we've got a load of goats running around the park as well. They should be happy. They should be plenty happy with that. I need to increase a new genome over here. I will continue. I'm going to um, make sure that I've got my list, and I will continue to name people, and I'll be looking through the comment sections and keeping a close eye on the comment section and adding people to the list if I feel that you are... Going above and beyond the usual Call of Duty with making comments and providing helpful tips, that sort of thing. Doing a little bit of research um, behind the scenes to help me out with different things. Um, and then I will name dinosaurs after you. Those of you who do support me on Patreon, feel free to send me a message to tell me to use your full name. And I will update Patreon shortly 
uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks to reflect that I will start using names in games and give you the option to opt out of it if you want to. But anyway, let's go and have a look at our fossils. Now, so far, I've not had a quest, but I think what I needed to do to get that quest was I needed the money to drop down really low and that it kind of gave you a tip. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to sell all of these. Um, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to keep a couple of them just in case. Just in case we want them for something. Uh, no, I don't want that one. I want the expedition map. And right now, I've got one expedition over there that I haven't been to. Um, I've got expeditions over here. I'm curious. I need to get one to 60%. What genomes have I got? What do we got? What do I want to go after? Uh, 60, 52. I need the... Um, now, I was saying Dracorex. I mean, it might be Dracor uh, Dracorex. That might actually be pronounced Dracorex, not Dracorex. So, um, uh, let's assume it's Dracorex. Um, I need another Dracorex, basically. And I can go, actually, I can just go to the Expedition Center rather than going in through there. We can go onto this one. I can view the Expedition map like this. And I need to look for Dracorex. I got Dracorex there. And that's the Ceratosaurus. And then if I have a look over here, we've got two of them. I've got a Critonosaurus, Critonosaurus over there. And it's the Huangosaurus over there. Huangosaurus, I think. I'm quite sure how that one's pronounced. Um, what else have we got? There's no other dig sites at the moment. We'll leave those two for a bit. Uh, we'll come back to them. Oh, I didn't mean to click on it. To click on a different one. That was a mistake. Okay, we're getting a Ceratosaurus at the moment. And then we'll come back and we'll get some more stuff a bit later. Uh, power over here. Unused power. The upgrades are for each individual power station, according to tips in the comment section. So we've got two power stations and that's it. I'm going to need more, in a way, of power stations at some point fairly soon. And I need a better dinosaur rating. Now, dinosaur ratings, the way that they improve, I think, is by getting better dinosaurs. Um, so, like this one here at the moment, the dinosaur rating is 91. And I need more. So if I go here into the genome, what can I... I need to get some more research going. That's what I need. Um, oh, what about skins? Did, if I change the skin... Minus 5%, rating plus 25%. Okay, so color makes a significant difference. So we'll, we'll apply that one. $168,000 a minute. That's not too shabby, really. That's, that's actually you know, a reasonable amount of money to make per minute, 168,000. Uh, that's rating plus 2%, uh, resilience 5. This one, lifespan plus 8. What's that one? Uh, no lifespan, just resilience. This one is lifespan and resilience and rating. Uh, but it's minus 7%, so it goes down to 74, but uh, overall, that's pretty... Incubation cost is quarter, three quarters of a million. Not cheap, by any stretch of the imagination. And then over here, we've got... What's this? Rating plus 5%. Attack 5. Um, go for it. Let's go for it. That's, that's, that's more rating still. Apply the gene. This way, this one's locked currently, so let's come out of there. How many of these can I put together? We've got... Right, well, let's incubate that one. And we'll put that one incubating. That is a absolute fortune. It really is. But how many of these can I put in together? Let's go and take a look at you and have a look there. Uh, resilience. Attack. Defense. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good job I got electric fences. That's all I can say. Dinosaur rating 80. Authenticity plus 12. Uh, appetite. 93. Comfort. Social group is 0 to 3, so yeah, we can, uh, ideal population 0 to 20, um, immune to bracken poisoning, susceptible to compiler back to, we're doing alright, we're doing alright with those, and over here we've got extract DNA, and extract DNA, so that's going to boost those, this time we'll send them to the right place, I want uh, Dracorix, we've got Edmontosaurus, Struthiomimus, Dracorix, Dracorix and Triceratops, and I'm going to go with that one, I think. No, I'm just going to go with Dracorix first, and we'll we'll, um, we'll come back and do some others in a minute. Okay, so I want to go over to this one next, Research Center, and I want to get some more research going. We've got genetic research, but we've also got building upgrades. Uh, let's go with genetic research. What can we get on here? Intensive repair. That one... Splicing increase the defense and resilience traits. This one here is intuitive learning, so we get them more intelligent. Uh, aggressive instincts. Put pit, why would you want to put pit viper DNA into a dinosaur? I mean, seriously, these things are all teeth. Um, 
I don't know why, but it's something that I'm going to do. I want to- I, I'm going to be a part of it. It's Pit Viper DNA. It's like seriously aggressive. You know that this is a really bad mistake. It's a stupid idea. Um, therefore, it's something that I want to be a part of. And now in here, what's this? Uh, reduced upkeep. Uh, you don't have... Well, this research, right? Yeah, that's fine. Um, inventory space. Okay, I'm not worried about that. What do we got on here? Ranger accuracy. Would be good. Uh, Ranger reload speed. Again, would be good. Uh, ACU. ACU containment. Asset containment unit. Probably do that one. Probably add that one in. That, that might be a good thing. A building upgrades. Um, um, oh, it's just... And then genetic research three. Yeah, right. Well, we'll keep an eye on that and we'll do a bit more in a little while. Um, dinosaur rating. How are we doing over here? Wait a minute. Oh, no, it's not that one. That's not the one that I want. I want this one over here. No! Three quarters of a million! Do you not understand how much that cost me? 89. That's gone up a little bit, so the viability is now 76%. I got a one, uh, one in four chance of failure. So a th there's a, th a three in four chance of success on this. That's, that's pretty good. That, that's surely got to count for something. But no, what I do need... Oh, expedition complete. Let's go to the fossils a minute and deal with that. Uh, we've got some more Dracorex there. I'll take the small ones first and then like upgrade it a bit and put it there. This one I'm going to sell. And then I'm going to go back to the expedition map and I'm going to send off on another one. Um, this time I'm going to take Triceratops as well. Hell Creek formation, that one. It's all here we hey, go. Just heard of a great opportunity we should get behind. Exciting dino actions immortalized in photographic form. It's great stuff. Here's the contract. 100,000. Take a photograph of a dinosaur eating from a feeder. Right. Well, there is only one possible Tourists place. Tourists love their photos. It's a way to prove to the folks back home that, yes, they did indeed see dinosaurs. This division has photo needs as well. Okay. Uh, Ranger team. Drive vehicle. We are going to go, and we're going to do this here. Aggressive instincts have now been researched. We can add that one in in a minute. Um, I've had suggestions on improvements I can make to these gates so that we don't get dinosaurs escaping everywhere. I think it's an excellent idea, and it's something that I'm going to be implementing shortly. Uh, not just yet, though. I need to come over here, and I need to get dinosaurs eating. So we're going to come over to take photo. Right, stop right here. They're not currently taking photos, but if I do that, I've got like six dinosaurs in here. One Triceratops. Composition bonus. Try again. It's not going to work. They're not picking up the ones that I want. I'll go over here. And there. Now what do we got? 11,000 multiple dinosaurs. Diverse behavior. Collect reward. That'll do me. A great moment to capture. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um. Oh, I can zoom. I didn't realise I could zoom. That's what I want. Species repetition penalty. Cool I don't photo. care about that. Did I sound sincere? Because that's what I was going for. I got a hundred thousand for taking that photo, so yeah, I okay. really don't, don't care that I only got five hundred for the actual that photo. Was some very impressive work on that contract. Of course it was. I'm awesome. Um, resupply. Uh, how do I resupply? Oh, I click. Right. Resupply completed. Let's go and take a look over here and see if we need to resupply these. Um. Oh! <laughs> Okay, um, I may have injured the dinosaur a little bit. I hope I didn't. Feeder restocked. How about, I'm going to have to go and check my dinosaurs in a minute. Don't let them out. Don't let them out. Do not let them out. Let's come back over here. Go away. Go on, scram. away. I will check you two in a minute. Um, I'm going to try taking a photo here. Up close and personal. Look at that. There. Seriously, I might get six. Seriously. 
Right, I'm 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 not gonna I'm I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay. Uh, they they are wandering away for a minute, so we can come out here and hopefully we can escape. And then we're gonna try our um. There's a, a new gate that has been suggested to me, which I thought was an excellent idea. So we'll let that one carry on and go back onto base by itself. Um, I've got I think I've got some fossils that are now here. Let's go and take a look at those. Yep, there we go. We've got another Dracorex there. We're on 58%. So that one, this might actually be enough. Oh, it's only one star. It might not be. Uh, extract DNA. And we'll go back to the world map. And Edmontosaurus. Struthiomimus. We're already full on Struthiomimus. Dracorex there. I'm going to go for both of them again. Just so that we can um, build those up again. Just in case we don't quite have enough on there. What I'd really like... Uh, dinosaur has been successfully raised and is ready. Yes. That's the bad boy there. Look at this. Resilience plus the... Knowledge the is essential coach. for us to properly do our jobs. That genome acquisition you completed keeps us moving down that path. Way to take the lead. No worries, dude. No worries. Um, so that was another 150,000 added to the pile. So we got the Savannah skin. Rating is 120. Release this dinosaur. Here we go. New skin on the dinosaur. Look at that. That actually looks very, very cool. I like this skin. I like this skin a lot. Contract complete. 150,000. What have I... Oh, have I, like, boosted the dinosaur? Reputation reward? A restaurant. I thought I already had a restaurant. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a Ceratosaurus to the park. Oh, Ceratosaurus, they call it. I've been calling it a Ceratosaurus. Why didn't somebody tell me I was making an idiot of myself? Um, hide the stats. Oh, I need to name this guy. I, I nearly forgot. I need to name. We've got a new guy here. So who have we got? Uh, Ivelios. Ivelios. There we go. Another name. Many of you are probably familiar with some of these names that I'm now typing because I'm using some of the YouTube names. Transmission incoming. Island unlocked. Isla Mueta. Island highlights. Tropical storms. Open your emergency shelter to protect yes, guests from dangerous storms. Yes, Site C. More commonly known as Isla Muerta. A newly developed island. The name roughly translated, and I do mean roughly, the island of the dead. Fitting. Humorous, even. Uh, ranger team and ACU management manage park crisis and repair storm damage by assigning tasks to your ranger and ACU teams. Dangerous diseases invest in researching cures for new diseases found on this island. Um, oh, that's where I am here. Well, I can't. Uh, uh, if I stay here, um, Isla Nubar, I think is uh, Nubla. Is is it that one? I'm not sure which one it is, but one of the islands... We go to the new island. We're, we're going to go to the new island. Um, I've only just named all of my dinosaurs, and now I'm abandoning the park, and I'm running off to a new island. Um, one of the islands... I think it's the first one. If you get that park up to four stars, it unlocks Isla Nubla, which basically is the sandbox mode. It gives you unlimited funds and access to everything, which it could be As interesting. As if prehistoric creatures weren't enough to contend with, on this next island... Isla Muerta, you may have uh, some meteorological events, you know, storms, extreme weather, that kind of thing from time to time. Okay, As you can great. see, the weather on this island can be a little temperamental. First thing you're going to want to do is fix any damage this storm has caused. You should use a ranger team to get the park operational again. Oh, and don't forget to close any emergency shelters when it's safe to do so. Guests won't spend their hard-earned dollars huddled in a bunker underground, will they, hmm? Now, that must have been quite the storm. And it seems that bad weather is often a precursor to bad behavior from the dinosaurs. If you believe that everything is connected, the so-called butterfly effect, and I do believe it, by the way, then one small change is all it takes to create a series of toppling dominoes leading to rampaging dinosaurs. And they don't make a butterfly net big enough to stop them. Okay, that's, that's not necessarily very good. Uh-oh, uh, that looks expensive. You should get that fixed, and soon. 
A ranger team is equipped for that. Right, the island needs more fun things for your guests as well as dinosaurs. We're currently losing $15,000 per minute at the moment. So, add task has been disabled. So, I've got to do this myself. Um, I've got to find repair points. And it's, there's a lot of water around here. So, uh, there we go. Let me go and repair that one first. You just, you just got to go near it and then... We can repair, right. Repair in progress. I've got that one over there needs to be repaired. There's a lot of water here, which is making it very difficult to grip anything at all. We can repair that one. Excellent. Repair in progress. What else have we got? We've got two more down this way, and then we got... Ooh. The, um, the guests are all huddled in bunkers at the moment. They're racing on down through here. And... Where are they? I can hear all sorts of things going on and I'm a little bit concerned about what exactly I can hear. Repair fence. Repair in progress. Now, where's the other repair point? I got one more thing that has got to be repaired. Where is it? Ah, uh, here, right. Another fence repair. Commencing repair. There we go. Right, now that's done, I might, I can just come out of there. They will take over, and we want to go, oh, guests over here. Oh, we got new ones there, right, so we'll, we'll ignore that for a minute. It does appear that we don't get to bring the money from the last place to this place, which I feel is a little bit of a shame. Right, emergency shelter, and close shelter. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for... Have we got any more shelters? It doesn't hit right. Unused power there is 16. I should be able to get some upgrades on that one. So let's go here and have a look at these. Outage protection. Uh, yeah, I'll take outage protection first. And then we'll also have improved output. Take that one there. Right, so we've got some boosts on that one there. Have I got another power station here anywhere? I don't appear to have any more. Um, no. Right, now. Do I have any dinosaurs? The, start, the, the park has got zero rating, but I like, the, I like the two parks we've got here. But what is this bit in the middle? We've got a no man's land going on over here. And I'm not really sure what it's for, although I've got the viewing gallery and i got another viewing gallery over there. Let's have a look and we'll see what we can make. Let's, let's bake something up, shall we? Struthiomimus is... Well, that's going to be the first one that I do. I'm going to do two Struthiomimus in here. Incubate that dinosaur. I'll do another one in there. Right, and I'll come out of there. And then I'm going to come over to this side, and we're going to put something a little more aggressive in this side. We're going to go... What did they call it? It was a... I've been saying Ceratosaurus, Ceratosaurus wasn't it? I, I don't know. Ceratosaurus seems about right. Um, 770,000. I can't afford to lose too many of those at the moment. Um, I don't have the ten million dollars I had just now. Definitely don't have any of that. Now, what have we got? We got a small power station there. I got a storm defense station. Storm defense stations help protect your park's structure against storm damage. Useful, huh? Many islands are vulnerable to intense tropical storms. These can cause severe damage to your facilities. Storm defense stations are the reward for completing the security division mission on Isla Matasiros. Storm defense stations protect nearby buildings against storm damage. Okay. Does that mean I don't actually have one at the moment? A dinosaur is ready for release. Release the dinosaur! This is the first one on the new island. So I only have to find a name that I haven't yet used. Um, this is going to be the difficult bit, is finding names that I haven't yet used and then not like uh, repeating them too often. Okay, so we will go into here and where are we? Uh think that one I haven't used, have I? Don't think so. Talirand. There we go. And then I've got another one here that is ready to release. I'm going to start incubating another one. Get you in the cooker. And then let's go to you. Release that one. And this one is going to be... Uh, Nigel Pipe. Go on. Go on. There we go. And... That one there is Nigel Pipe. Yeah. 
So we've got Nigel and we've got Talleyrand at the moment. And then we I think I've got like two names left on my list and then I'm going to start repeating them. Um, I will start to increase the list. I will start to have a better list at the moment. There's just a few names that I scribbled onto a post-it note. So I will make sure that I do this a bit better. I'm also looking for feedback. Uh, I'm looking to see what you think of this. What is your opinion of what I'm doing right now? with these names do you think this is a good idea i hate the as i said earlier i really don't like the idea of offering rewards um that is only hidden behind a paywall so anything that is offered to people who pay me money through patreon which is always i cannot begin to describe how much i appreciate that it is really awesome that people are willing to support me like that uh, but at the same time i don't want to just hang on I think that's um juice m s is it i think it's that i don't know i might have that one wrong um yeah i i don't want to be offering rewards um for uh, only for people who have money um when i grew up if it cost money on anything i knew that i wouldn't be able to get it and i don't want to block anything on my channel behind something like that i want it to also be available i want it to be i want this channel and everything on the channel and perks and so on to be accessible by everybody i don't want you to be losing out just because you don't currently have a healthy bank balance and um so that is something that i'm going to try to make sure of at all times so we've got jamie o'connell here there we go. Jamie O'Connell. Right, so there we've got a whole load of Struthio Mimus. I need to actually do something in the enclosure. We need to have a ground herbivore feeder. Uh, too close to a dinosaur. How do I rotate? A uh, rotate left and right is X and Z. So we'll put that one... Drop that one down there. Like that. So we've now got a feeder. I'm going to put another feeder up here. Too close to dinosaur. Um... I put another one there. So the feeders are both in front of the viewing gallery. Um, I suspect this one... <gasps> it's looking promising! It's looking very promising! Who are we going to... I think I've already gone through and I've used all the names that are on my list. So I'm going to have to go back and start repeating some of these names. Um, at least that dinosaur. And... Ooh. Oh, yeah, we've got the very cool skin. I love this skin. I love the skin. Look at this. This is very awesome. Look at him. He's a brute. He's an absolute brute. Look at this fella. He's amazing. Uh, there you go. There's much, much better coloring over this side. That looks awesome. That looks... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to see him, but I wanted to hide his... Inf there we go. You know what I'm doing. I'm getting a screenshot. Um... That is our new dinosaur. He looks gorgeous, doesn't he? Doesn't he look absolutely wonderful? Just want to go in and pet him, don't you? Okay, maybe not. Um, may maybe we don't want to go in and pet him. Uh, grassland? Forest. Okay. Comfort, 94%. Heat. There's too much grassland for him. Is that what it is? There. Information. Normal solitary. Territories comprise good sized grassland, small amount of forest. We're going to have to remove some of the forest in this area to make it a bit better for him. Um, and we're going to have to get him some buddies as well. Uh, well. We'll work on that in a minute. So, who have I got in here? Now, I named. The, the thing is, I, I know I named the dinosaurs in the last. Uh, you like at the beginning of the episode, but then I didn't actually carry on with the names. So, I've gone through everybody once. Um, I'm going to name. And there's three people in particular that I want to name Ceratosaurus after. Uh, first one is Miss Pelt. There. Let's uh, name the other one. Uh, Velios is one who's going to have a Ceratosaurus. And then over here, who we got at the moment? Word is that a new contract is available. Expeditions are key. Perform two successful expeditions to dig sites. I accept. Accept your request. Okay, um, first of all, I want to put a meat feeder in his... Ooh, this enclosure doesn't have electric fence, does it? This is not electric fence. So I'm going to have to do something about that, or he's going to be escaping. Um, first of all, let's put a live bait feeder in here. Um, and 
I'm going to rotate that one around. I'm going to put the live bait feeder right there. And then I'm also going to put a profit per minute is now 64,000. That's better. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put this feeder right here like this. Um, rotate that round. And that's going to go in front of that area there. Okay. Next up, I want to do a little bit of landscaping. And I want to remove some trees there he needs a bit more grassland I think so I'm going to remove that over there that I think is a little bit better for him these guys don't have a vast amount of trees but I am going to remove why aren't you removing you should be removing ah there I didn't want to just remove the one tree there. I've removed some trees. We've got a few trees there. I think that's going to be a little bit better like that. We've got some grassland there. Uh, now, water. I want to remove... I want to just um, shrink this down a little bit. Like that. There, so we haven't got quite so much water in there. And I'm going to do the same on this one. So we've got a bit more ground for it to walk across. And I would go like that. And let's go and have a look at Miss Pelt having some food. She's a hungry girl, isn't she? Look at that. Gulp. Gone. Right. Now, my big my big problem that I've got at the moment is that this dinosaur enclosure... I know that we've got to do expeditions and stuff like that, but that's not my main concern right now. My main concern is that our enclosures, fences... Uh, I, I don't have um, electric fence here. I, I, I need uh, to, to, to um, get rid of that and that. And I need to do this quickly. I need to work fast. We've got a dinosaur threat. There. There. Right. I've now got an electric fence out that way. Where's the dinosaur threat? Right, he's in there. Look, see, I've got that as electric fence, but I don't have electric fence anywhere else. So I need to... I want to turn this into electrified fence all the way around here. I don't think that... Um, there is another place. Who have we got? We've got Jamie O'Connell. We've got Miss Pelt. We've got Nigel Pipe. Um, who else have we got? Talleyrand. Juice MS. Okay, let's, uh, oh, escape back. Right. He's over this side. So while he's over there and otherwise occupied, I'm going to quickly demolish that, that, and that. And then I'm going to go back to the enclosures. And I'm going to take the fence out of there. I could just go in a straight line across there. That one across to there and onto there like that. Right. And then that one onto there like that. Right. They are now joined up. So we've got that bit along there. If he's... if Well, she... If she is over this side, I want to start working on this bit. So I'll remove that one and I'll remove that one. And then we go here... Enclosures. I am taking a bit of a risk doing this like this. I probably should have um, upgraded the enclosure before I um, put the dinosaur in the enclosure. That may have been a better way forward. It may have been a slightly better way of doing this. Now, where is she? Where is Miss Pelt? Right. If she's over there, I might be able to do a run straight down through here. Like this. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Don't hang around. Take that one there. Uh, straight line down there. And connect that in there like that. Right. Yep, that works. Okay. And she's over there. So then I can take that one off. And I can go here and here. And then you can join those two in together. Now, being able to remove those two is good. We've got this, like, gap in between. I'm not too concerned about that gap in between. So I just need to remove that one there and get that bit replaced. I can do that quickly. Join that in there. Okay, now we have got... That's much better. We've got electric fence all the way around. An electric fence is going to be significantly better than having a non-electric fence. So if I take out that one... I'll take out two... Why not? 
why not just take them all out? We'll just take them all out now. We will do that. And then I can go to there. And go to that one. And I want to move you in a straight line up there. And then join you in there. Right, so that should be all joined in. We've now got a dinosaur enclosure that has got a powered fence all the way around. That is stage one of um, my survival guide. Stage two is slightly more complicated. We're going to do a double gate. And this is something that was suggested to me by a number of people, which I think is actually a really, really good idea, um, considering that we've got some big badass dinosaurs in here who are likely to go and eat any guests that... Um, it, you know, if, if they get out. So, what do we got? Um, what's that? Oh, that's a gate. Ah, oh, I see. Right. Hang on. No, you go here and do that. And then I put that one across there like that. Um, go to there. And then I go to that one. And then I just click on gate. And... Why is it not moving round? Isn't that a gate? That's a gate there. There was a way that it worked. Why is it not working now? Ah. Right, so it, it does work. It's just, it's obstructed and it doesn't like it. I've, I've... It was working just now. Look at this. Look, look at the way that it's moving around. And then that one does kind of... Yeah, see, I can put it up there. Right, I know what I need to do. I need to remove that one, that one, and that one. And then I need to put the gate in first. So we'll go to the enclosures. We'll just go to the gate like that. And I'm going to rotate that one around so that it goes to here. Uh, I'll put it to about that point there. And then I can go to the steel fence with power. And I can go to there. And I can go to steel fence with power. And I can go to there like that. Right, so we've now got a double skin gate. Double skin gate, I'm hoping. Look at him, look at him. Uh, look look at her, rather. Look, she's she's eyeing up her lunch. Look at these people here. It's lunchtime. Okay, stop eyeing up your lunch. It's, it's not a good idea to do that. You're just going to make the guests nervous. We've got 766,000. I would like to... Oh, we can release another Struthiomimus over here. And now I can't remember what dinosaurs I've got in here. So let me just have a quick look through. Um, I think we need to go back to... This one's going to be... Tyree, I think. Uh, I need to show. Right. Uh, who have we got? Talleyrand, Nigel Pipe, Juice MS, Jamie O'Connell in here. And then I got Miss Pelt over there. So this one right here is going to be uh, Tech Lime. Tech underscore Lime. There we go. Right. Tech Lime is in. And then we're going to go over to here, and we're going to go to Incubate Dinosaur, and we're going to go for a Triceratops. You know, we haven't actually made a Dracorix yet. We'll make a... What do we need for these? Rating 23, skin basic. Um, that one rating is 35. The rating on those is only 11. The rating on that one is 120. Apparently, they'd like the shock value of the Predators. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but no, we'll stick with the Triceratops at the moment. It's a rating of 35. That's not too bad. So we'll incubate one of those and hope and pray that 86% is good enough. Um, we're running out of time for today. We're going to have to come back and carry on with this next time. Uh, that's the Hammond Creation Lab there. I don't want that one. I am looking for something in particular. It is the Ranger Station over here. Ranger Team, drive vehicle. Let's go. The idea now is I want to test my new double gates. I want to see if the airlock system works for my gates. This is the idea. I should be able to go in through there. It does, does it work? That one closes and then that one closes. I'm not really sure. I, I don't know quite how well that works, but um, it does seem to. So we'll go here. And is he going to eat? She. She. It's a she. Miss. All right. Oh no. Uh, where is? Where's she going? Um, no. Let's come out of there. Let's let's go round this way. Go over here. And you gonna drink? I get a bonus if you're drinking. All right. Let's just let's just take a snap. Look at that. That is a beautiful picture. Composition bonus. 
absolutely wonderful collect reward eight grand i can cope with that so uh no what i want to do is i want to see how well the rangers can get in and out of here it's gonna be the last thing that we do in this episode if they get in and out all right then um excellent work are you really just gonna sit there operation profit margin is in good shape we're making sixty-seven thousand per minute which is excellent it means that we should soon be able to get another ceratosaurus there we go we're moving out Dinosaur has been successfully raised to maturity. We can go and release that one. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Did you see that? She went running straight towards that gate there, trying her best to escape. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Maybe we need to make this a little bit further apart so that there definitely one gate closes before the next one opens. Uh... We'll have a look at that. We'll come back to that uh, in the future. And also, I would like your views and opinions on how I am now naming the dinosaurs in the park. So, comments in the comments section down below. Let's not argue over the uh, small just quickly stuff. Run through this. Looking at the big picture, this is a solid contract. Extract new DNA in a fossil center to increase the dinosaur genome to at least 50%. So we must have some new dinosaurs available in there. We'll deal with that all next time. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.